am Kuan Yin. This is I Have No Cut Cards Tarot. And today is Friday. I'm going to do a general collective read. Let's go, Holy Spirit. What is this about? What is this reading about for my collective today? All right. Oh, okay. Okay, so uh, this could possibly be about a workplace situation and a new love opportunity. All right. So at least now I know where we're headed. This is really nice. Okay, so this could, uh, whatever this is, this could be something happening in your workplace. And it might have something to do with a brand new love opportunity uh, for you. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> All right, uh oh. All right, so I just opened the deck on the King of Pentacles and the High Priestess Reverse. Ay, ay, ay. Somebody is in their head about giving you a message about something. Somebody wants to bring you a message, maybe because they're interested in you. But I'm not feeling this high priestess reverse. What is this king of pentacles? All right, so we're going to jump and dove right into this and find out what this is. Who is this? Who's this king of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, Pisces energy? That's all four of swords in their thoughts about giving you a message. Holy Spirit? Yeah. Oh, that's the new love interest. Okay. Because it fell. Here you go. That's the new love opportunity. Somebody wants to bring you a message that could possibly uh, want an opportunity in love with you. Okay? Uh, and I don't know. Maybe somebody's fighting or they're conflicted about it because they're not supposed to talk to you. I don't know. We'll see. Woo. All right someone uh, have a fluttering in their uh, right knee or right above their right knee uh, if this is you uh, you could be someone that might have some type of fluttering or something going on with your right knee you have water on your knee or something I don't know somebody on your right knee or it could be any knee I don't know but just for somebody okay what's a high priestess reverse why is this high priestess reverse Holy Spirit what is that can you clarify uh, the high priestess reverse? This is somebody that wants to move, that wants to heal things and move to calmer waters. So if somebody is trying to heal uh, things, uh, is what I'm hearing. That means they did something. <laughs> oh wow! Somebody that you might have completely ended things with, uh, with this five of pentacles to the death card, Scorpio energy. Okay, because they lack structure and discipline in the past. Okay. And they backstabbed and betrayed you, okay? And now they don't want to take any more chances uh, in whatever type of uh, uh, foolishness uh, they were doing. Okay, so this high priestess in the reverse, it could possibly be someone that really has no intuition at all. Uh, it'll come out later on if this has to do actually with uh, any type of a spiritual manipulation. But right now, I think this is just the king of pentacles maybe that might be might not be too in tune uh they might not be too uh in tune or intuitive their intuition might be off you know this might be not an i wouldn't say an airhead but maybe this could be just an energy that can't see past their nose uh they can't recognize they can't recognize manipulation when it's being done to them or others okay their intuition is off. They're disconnected from intuition. Like, you know how people will be like, oh, no, uh, I suspect something. Oh, that's the girl you want to date right there talking to their son. You know, look, uh, look how she waxed her eyebrows. You know, oh, she fast, honey. I picked up on that already. You know, or oh, that man don't, that, that young boy don't mean you no well, baby. I already could tell by the way he walked and da 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 that, that what his plans for you are. You know, this is someone whose intuition is off or not developed, okay? So that might be his life path uh, and lesson to learn to develop his intuition. Because in the past, he took he or she uh, took some type of risk to backstab and betray you, uh, you know, being slick with you. They lack structure and discipline, and you cut them off completely, and it came to a complete end. And now they want to heal. Now they're, they're wanting to resurrect and heal something uh, and see if they can move to calmer waters. They're thinking about uh, moving to calmer waters with you, okay? But they're scared uh, to take a risk or a chance 
because of how they behaved with you in the past okay uh, in the past this person okay so in the past this person could have been extremely shallow and superficial with you okay so uh, yeah whoever this energy is they were extremely shallow uh, and superficial with you in the past uh, Holy Spirit give me a little bit of energy on this king of Pentacles uh, energy that uh, may be lacking in intuition uh, in the past what did they do to my uh, collective in the past? What energy were they in with my collective in the past? This is one sick fuck. Oh boy, another one. Here we go. What energy were they in with my collective in the past, Holy Spirit? They don't love you, you give good narc supply. I don't like this. They like the way you make them feel. They don't love you. They just love the way you make them feel. Okay, what else? Your light irritates their demons. Okay, I'm done. All right, three more, real quick. Give me three more cards to describe this energy, Holy Spirit, whether it's a man. Uh, undecided, wishy-washy on the fence. Two more cards, cause I'm, I'm 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 making a case for this person for my collective here, whoever this individual is. I can't make this shit up. They're shallow, surface level, and they're angry and pissed. All right, fuck it, I'm done. Collective, I'm gonna end the reading right here. They're not for you. Walk away. No, I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. We're gonna go ahead and jump into this reading. Okay, I was just trying to kind of get a sense for how this person was to you in the past. So you have a coworker. Because this is a workplace situation that would like a new opportunity in love with you, possibly. Uh, unless they indicate to me later in the reading you have someone new coming toward you. But whoever this uh, co-worker is of yours, uh, this is one sick fuck in the past to you. Uh, they're angry and they're pissed. This is someone that's angry that doesn't control their anger. This is somebody that's wishy-washy, so it's not a loyal person, Okay. And you saw they did come out as a queen of pentacles in the reverse, talking about the past. Uh, your light irritates their demons. They don't love you. You give narc, good narc supply. So basically, they want a fan. They don't want someone to have a mutual uh, balance exchange uh, with the same level of self-esteem as them. They want a servant or they want a, a, an admirer. You give good narc supply, okay? They like the attention they get from you. And this person is also was shallow and surface level. And that's in the past, okay? But right now, uh, right now, this person is showing up as the king of pentacles in the upright. So I am kind of curious, uh, what is their energy right now? Oh, this is love. Now what is their energy, Holy Spirit? I don't know, maybe they did too much. Or maybe, oh, now they have a, let me find out somebody got humbled. What is this uh, king of pentacles energy uh, toward my collective right now? What is their collective towards, what is their energy right now? Resentment. They resent you for uh, cutting them off. They resent you for cutting them off because they wanted to abuse you. Okay, they, they didn't want a balanced, healthy relationship with you. What is this King of Pentacles energy toward my collective? They can't distinguish between love and lust. Okay. And they feel humiliated. Maybe because you walked away and turned them down. Okay, I can't, y'all. All right. All right, that's what we needed to know. They're, they they have resentment for you. They're humiliated. They're humiliated, and they can't distinguish between love and lust. I told you. This is someone that uh, is not fully uh, developed yet in maturity in certain areas of their life, okay? They're, they're king of pentacles. They know how to make money. This energy knows how to make money, but they are not developed enough uh, in maturity in how to uh, treat a person the right way. This person has some narcissistic tendencies that I just told you about. All right, so Holy Spirit, uh, this is how they were to you in the past, uh, and the dilemma is now what? Now this person, uh, are they doing something to my collective or what's going on? Okay, so, but this person has decided that you uh, bring them happiness and joy, okay? And they want you in their life, but here's the problem. What their perception of the sun is and happiness and joy is just narc, 
narcissism, su narcissistic supply, okay? That's what their perception is. Their perception of love uh, and you being the sun is they resent you. Your light irritates their demons, okay? Uh, so this person has demons inside of them, okay? And your light irritates them, but yet they still want to be in your light because you're the sun. You make them feel good, okay? Uh, you raise this person's vibration when they're around you. You know, uh, you help cure what ails them is what I'm hearing. Somebody could be from Louisiana, okay? But you help cure what ails them, okay? But yet your light still irritates their demon, but you still make them feel good, okay? Holy Spirit. What do you want my collectives to know about this workplace situation with this person that wants to get back with my uh, collective, but not for the right reasons? What do you want my collective to know, Holy Spirit? And can I also have some energy on who this might be uh, so that my collective also uh, can have an idea of who we're talking about here? Oh, these are friends with benefits only. Okay, so for some of you, this is someone that you had a friends with benefits type relationship. Maybe this person wanted it to become more, but you could see that they were narcissistic. Uh, that you, maybe you could see they were narcissistic and you decided, uh, no, you're not for me. Uh, we can keep it right where it is, friend with benefits, and leave it at that. Okay? Let's go, Holy Spirit. Who could this be for my collective? This is your friend. Mexico, these are neighbors. Damn. This can be multiple people. All right. I think it's more too actually i feel like yeah i knew it is this the filipino no cool. oh that's who it, okay they said that's who it is okay who so this is who it is collective this is for some of you a taurus virgo capricorn and i told you that already didn't i uh that's why the king of pentacles is here the king of pentacles is a taurus virgo capricorn type energy earth all right uh, for others of you, this is an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, or they could have maybe both in their chart, or you could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? Uh, but you take it as it resonates. Someone is from North Africa, okay? Somebody's North African, uh, and this is multiple people, okay? This is multiple people that are, might be, have narcissistic tendencies, and these are neighbors, and this is your friend. And Mexico is here as well, okay? So that's who. And like I said, this is a workplace situation going on for y'all, all right? All right, Holy Spirit, please uh, let my collective know what you want them to know about this situation. Just one moment here. What do you want them to know, Holy Spirit? Gossip rumors. They're fucking with your car. Okay. Okay. I don't know, maybe you guys uh, did something as a group uh, with people in your neighborhood, in your workplace, because they have leisure, fun, recreation, vacation. Maybe uh, maybe you guys did stuff together uh, because you were friends with benefits, and it's other people involved here. Maybe uh, you're a whole community of people that uh, take vacations together or trips, or all of y'all go out to eat together, social gatherings, possibly, okay? But uh, this person is wicked. Because they said this is one sick fuck. So because your light irritates their demons, this person craves your energy, but they, uh, but they fuck with you at the same time. And they get other people to fuck with you, okay? They might have relationships with people in your neighborhood where you live at home, and they might be paying people to fuck with you because they're fucking with your car, okay? Mexican. Gossip and rumors. They spread gossip and rumors about you, okay? And this person is jealous of you. You got a whole hater over here. This could be a man or a woman, but I'm getting masculine energy. You have a whole man, okay, that you had that was a friend with benefits that you were intelligent enough to end things with, okay? Maybe he wanted to make you uh, his girlfriend uh, or a committed relationship because you give good narc supply, and maybe you said, no, you're too much of a narcissist. Uh, we going to leave it right where it's at or maybe you're just too happy of a person too much positive energy you're pretty you know a whole lot of things 
uh, and take it as it resonates. It could be a same-sex relationship, you know. Uh, this could be a man doing this to another man, you know. You take this reading as it resonates for you, okay? So this person, whoever this person is, they're, they're a fake person, okay? They love and hate you at the same time. They're, 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 they're spreading gossip and rumors about you. They want to be with you. They're jealous of you. They're, they're paying people in your neighborhood to fuck with your car, you know, uh, this friend of yours, okay, uh, fucking with your neighbors. Multiple people are involved. North Africa, Mexico, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, Sag, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and that's who. All right, Holy Spirit, what else did you want my uh, collective to know about this situation here? This person already made a decision about you. Yeah, this person hasn't changed a bit or... All right, bye. Love you. Be safe. They want to have sex with this person, okay? They want to have sex with you. All right, so yeah, they just they just want to... Uh, they already made a decision about you. They just want to have sex with you. But I'm guessing that means you cut them off. Whatever type of sexual relationship you all had, friends with benefits, because they were secretly hating on you, or you picked up on some negative energy uh, and people started fucking with your car and you just noticed rumors being spread about you and you didn't know where it was coming from, I feel like energetically you might have sensed it was coming from this person you were friends with benefits from. Uh, you might have picked up on a vibe like they were jealous of you and a secret hater and you think you're too good to be in a real relationship with me. So you cut them off completely. So they're mad about that and... They want you back so that they can have sex with you again. But you walked away from them completely and deaded the situation. Because you're like, damn, you can't even handle a simple friend with benefits uh, situation without being low vibrational and jealous of me. Imagine what a, a whole serious relationship would be. Uh, a, a commitment. So you walked away and deaded it. And, and you could not have made a better decision. This person is wicked. They lack intuition. This is someone that will plan to hurt you. You know, uh, because your light irritates their demon while they're sharing a bed with you and laying with you. It was good that you got away from this person. If you can get away from this job, leave there too. If, they, if they're going to be there and have a career there long term. You want to get away from this energy. Yes, Holy Spirit. Anything else? These two are cursing each other out. Yeah, they could... Whoever this is, they could be involved with somebody else uh, that... They could be trying to sabotage financially, uh, and they could be fighting about a venereal disease. Uh, I hope this is not you, or maybe you are the one that's fighting uh, with this energy about uh, about uh, STD or AIDS, possibly. Okay? So whoever this energy is, they caught something. They caught some type of VD or STD. Yeah, you don't want to get, you don't want this person back. Yeah, they're financially sabotaged. They're broke now. They have an STD. They only want to get with you to gaslight you because they need and want your energy. Okay? that That's all that is. Okay? So, yeah, this person is not for you. Uh, be happy that you had enough of intuition to get away from them. Holy Spirit, uh, is there anything else that you want to say to my collective that this resonates with with regard to this energy in their workplace that they were dealing with? Yeah, this is somebody that tries to uh, use sex to uh, manipulate and dominate people that they deal with, to try to control them so they can uh, uh, benefit from their energy, their good energy. This person likes to latch on to people that have good energy, you know, and, and kind of a uh, form of energy harvesting, you know. They're jealous of the people they attach to. This person attaches, to, they touch in my back, this person attaches to people they're jealous of that they admire uh, that have a lot of love inside of them and they want relationships with them just so that they can uh, uh, feed off of their energy because they don't have their own, okay? Why are y'all touching my back? What do y'all What do y'all want? What do y'all want to say? Okay, I didn't think this was going to come out, but it did. Candle and or fire spell work. Oh, so now they want to do spell work on you too. Okay, well, you were good. You you were right to get away from this true narcissist. Okay. You were right to get it. That's what they wanted you to know. They are doing spell work. See, I was, 
I was tiptoeing around the word. I did not want to say spell work if, it's, if that's not what it is, okay? Uh, people do mental manipulation, all kind of things, which is a form of spell work. Uh, but this person is actually lighting candles and actually doing spell work on you, okay? It's not just them trying to manipulate your mind or manipulate you sexually. This person is physically lighting candles and doing spell work chanting on you, okay? So it's a fact. They are doing spell work on you. Wow. Maybe to try to get you under sexual control because they want to have sex with you again. But God said, don't touch my anointed. Don't do that. You're not going to be able to use uh, ritualistic sex magic uh, to touch my anointed. They probably want to give that STD they have to you to, uh, so you'll so that they can feel like you'll be bound to them. Uh, if they have AIDS, they probably want to try to give you AIDS so that uh, they'll be bound to you, okay? They're doing spell work to try to get you back in the bed, okay? But divine intervention is going to be, this person is going to suffer from some type of a tornado or another natural disaster. They're gonna, and that's going to be divine intervention for doing spell work. Y'all can't be out here doing spell work on God's anointed people. You're not supposed to do it on anybody, but especially not nobody that's anointed by God, you know? So that's that person's karma that they're going to get. And the reason is because you're spiritually protected. You don't know who's spiritually protected out here to be doing this goddamn spell work, playing these type of games. That shit ain't cool, all right? So this is an apology. Uh, hidden enemy danger headed your way. So what's going to happen is they're doing spell work right now, okay? And then they're going to try to come to you. They're a hidden enemy because you don't know they're doing spell work. You just think it's somebody that you cut off and stopped having sex with, you know, that just wants to uh, maybe have a friendly meal or a friendly drink with you, okay? Uh, oh, they want to apologize for their wayward ways with you in the past. But in actuality, this is not a real apology. They just want to get into your energy so they can do the spell work on you and sleep with you so they can give you and deliver speedy delivery! STD, AIDS, speedy delivery, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. All right? Holy Spirit, is there anything else? The answer is no. Divorce. Stay away from this person. The answer is no. It's nothing else. They're just saying, you stay separated from whoever this individual is. Divorce. All right. And was there anything else? Yeah, they touched my back so I could say that last part about the spell work. That's what they wanted you to know. And here, look, they said there's nothing else. That was the whole message. Uh, and here's the confirmation, the Ace of Swords here. That was the whole message right there, Collective. All right? I am Kuan Yin. Today is Friday. I want you all to be safe out there. If you're going to be drinking, get a designated driver. I love all of you. And this is I Have No Cut Cards Tarot.